Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Cassette Carnage. And today we are blasting Leviathan Scar Sighted. This is the art and music box set variant um, on white vinyl. Wow. Just fucking wow. From Billy Anderson's production to Jeff Whitehead's just completely twisted insane view of black metal this is a modern u.s black metal fucking masterpiece everything hand done diy to death i mean this is seriously some um it's an amazing double lp everything is hand done and it's just fucking gorgeous stuff like absolutely gorgeous I mean, I'm not gonna, I've gone over the artwork and everything before, but I am listening to uh, the B-side of the first uh, disc. Well, first record actually, whatever you wanna call it. Fucking sticker. But uh, yeah, here's a, the white vinyl. And this is just, it's seriously so fucking good. Everything about this, like I said, the artwork is just magnificent. But the artwork as a whole, it's just, oh my God. Again, I don't feel like going through all of it, but if you can get your hands on the art and music box set, fucking A, get it. If you can just get the $35 vinyl, fucking A, get it. But uh, like I was saying, we are back on some cassette carnage and uh, we have the last tape from the Transylvanian Tape Bundle and this band fucking rules. They mix like Swedish second wave Scandinavian black metal with the US black metal edge and that is Kron Axis. And I'm sorry if I said that wrong but I've never heard anyone mention this band's name before in real life so Chronaxis is what I'm gonna call it so yeah and this is Outreach from a Withered Hand this is their debut full length it clocks in at 56 minutes and 45 seconds of just some awesome atmospheric like I said uh, pretty much Scandinavian, Swedish, second wave black metal worship, but with the US black metal edge to it when it comes to some of the more experimental aspects of this. But I mean, there's a lot of like acoustic guitar passages and really do not let this converge looking artwork fool you. I love converge, but Trust me, this is straight up fucking black metal, and this is probably, it, it, it probably is the best tape out of the bunch when it comes to the Transylvania tape bundle. I just wish I could say the band's name properly. Cronaxis? I'm sorry, but yeah, this is just fucking awesome. Like, seriously, everything about this is what you want in like black metal like if you know you're into the more atmospheric like kind of experimental but at the same time evoking bands like dissection and hell i even heard some like watane on here and the vocals actually they remind me a, a lot of uh like kind of uh eric's vocals from watane which also John's vocals from Dissection, and a little bit of even Young and In The Way on here. But um, you have two of the three members of this band also playing in Lycus. If you don't know who Lycus is, they are fucking awesome. Seriously, killer funeral doom. So fucking good. And uh, their drummer's in a death metal band. Um, you have, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced these last names wrong, as, as always, I fuck this shit up. I don't, I don't do my research like I should, but, uh, we have, uh, 
Nick Luvai on guitars and vocals, Pete Chavez on drums, and uh, he dr also drums in Slaughterbox, which is a death metal band, who are also fucking good. Like, this is another one of those projects on Transylvanian tapes where the band members are also in these other amazing bands. And, dude, there's even some parts on here that remind me of, like, you know, some of the atmosphere that Leviathan really, you know, evoke. And it's awesome. Like, I mean, I don't want to tell you guys to kill yourselves or anything, but if you are going, like, that is the proper way to slit one's wrist. Hopefully that's not what they're going for, but uh, I am pretty sure that's what that is. But outreach from a withered hand could mean anything but by this band's like haunting as fuck like atmospheric vibe it's just like wow how are these guys from california and then you realize that yo like california is just as gnarly as any other place like when it comes to like you know some of the more negative aspects of life and stuff but like this does not, you know, like, this is not your, like, typical corpse paint wearing, you know, gauntlet black metal. Even though parts of it sound like that's what it should be. This is something a little more special, and it really, really, especially on the second track, like, this is so fucking grim, you don't even get a track listing, but what you do get is eight killer killer very very you know long and just awesome tracks of killer u.s black metal but like i said there is a heavy scandinavian influence and that's not a bad thing like i'm not talking about like at the gates riffs or like even the more melodic parts of dissection and watain i'm talking about the darker elements along with the um acoustic parts it's just what it reminded me of it was the first thing that popped in my head i was like oh shit like that really sounds like dissection right there and then vocally i really really dig uh nick's vocals like he, he just has a really really good fucking voice for uh black metal and he just does it really really good i mean it's not like as tortured sounding as somebody like rest like and malefic from zatzer like it it's kind of like i said it's really you know it reminds me of the dude from young and in the way eric from watain and john from dissection r.i.p but um yeah you have eight tracks here on transylvanian tapes about an hour worth of music Killer full length released about um, November, December 2016, and dude, I'm really surprised that a lot more people do not mention this. Like, I looked it up on YouTube, like, just so I could pronounce the band's name correctly, and I, I couldn't find anything. So, if this is the first review, video review of this band, yo. Every single person that, like, digs black metal and cassette tapes, yeah, $6.66. This is fucking awesome. The music's great. I mean, there's no lyric sheet, but just from the fucking vibe, like, I'm pretty sure this is some heavy subject matter. And also from the artwork, like, and the, the title of the album, you know, Outreach from a Withered Hand like pretty much seeking help from someone that's already wounded emotionally is what I'm go what the vibe this really sent out to me was and you have a little roman numeral for side 1 and side 2 like this this is seriously great and uh, when I was talking to Jay at Transylvanian Tapes he said like, this was one of the bands he had been going after, and hey, this is not your father's black metal, like, this is some corpse paint free, just fucking 
awesome shit. It's so goddamn haunting, and that's something that I think Transylvanian Tapes and Jay, who's like in charge, he has a very, very good ear for bands that just have this like really, really unsettling, like unsettling vibe to their music, and it's awesome. Like. Seriously, it's like the way that like certain Leviathan songs, which is why I chose it to put it on, like besides the fact that it they're both US black metal bands, but there's a lot on here that just kind of reminded me of also Leviathan and all sorts of different bands. There's tons of influences on here, but I felt as if the majority were coming from Scandinavia, but Again, it blends in with, you know, the whole U.S. black metal sound, and it's awesome. Like, it really, really works and flows great, but these tracks, seriously, are really, really, like, gnarly. They get under your skin, and it's just, it's, I really wish this had a lyric sheet. That's, like, my only complaint with this is the fact that it did not come with a lyric sheet. Because I really want to know, you know, the actual subject behind this fucking awesome, awesome album. But, like, there's, like, guitar solos on here, which is why I'm saying that, yeah, it reminds me of some Scandinavian black metal from Sweden because they weren't afraid to throw some guitar solos in there and stuff. And it just helps add to the atmosphere instead of taking you out of the music and being, like, you know, like, oh, like, that's impressive. It, it doesn't do that. It does it the way that, like, Austin Lund does it with Panopticon. When Panopticon does guitar solos, it's just, like, part of the atmosphere and the just making the song a better song. And you can tell that, like, that's what, you know, Chronaxis, or however you pronounce this band's name, we're going for. Like, just that, like atmospheric vibe no matter what and they really accomplished it even through like some of the more vicious like black metal it's still just haunting and yeah i really really recommend this like this is fucking grade a u.s black metal so if you have not heard this yet outreach from a withered hand by uh chronaxis i'm just gonna call him chronaxis but uh, if you have not heard this yet, pick this up on Transylvanian Tapes, uh, $6.66, I mean, and you are getting, seriously, eight tracks of killer fucking US black metal with a Scandinavian edge, and I think you guys are gonna love this. I, I thought this was, seriously, when I first looked at it, I was like, I guess this is like a hardcore band or something based on that kind of Jacob Bannon looking artwork, but thankfully, well not really thankfully, because like I said, I do love Converge, but this was something completely out of left field. I did not expect this to seriously grab me the way it did, and the fact that I'll be listening to this for a, a while to come, yeah, I just wish this was available on vinyl because I would love to throw this on the turntable because it's that fucking good. So yeah, go on uh, Transylvania Tapes. I will put the link below and pick up a copy of Chronaxis Outreach from a Withered Hand. Just killer USBM. And like I said, it has a Swedish edge, Swedish edge to it and it's fucking sick. And that is the end of the Transylvanian Tapes Bundle. I hope you guys found out about some new music, made some purchases maybe. Fuck yeah. I mean, let me know below, like, you know. But anyways, we've been listening to Leviathan Scar Sighted on Devout Records. So fucking good. And uh, I would really like to thank, again, Jay at Transylvanian Tapes for kind of, you know, making this whole entire series possible and for you know supplying me with some killer fucking tunes that I didn't know existed so that's always good so 
I'll put the link below and you know let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching as always. Hails.